Hey guys, this is my 2021 Model S long range version and I have a new video update for you guys today because Tesla released a new fun software update so I wanted to walk you guys through that. Let's go ahead and hop in the car here and I'll show you exactly how all of this works. This is actually kind of a fun software update. For those of you new to the channel, you'll realize that Tesla does a number of fun software updates and I always feel like it's like getting a Christmas present each time you get them. Sometimes the features that they add in there are not necessarily of value to you, but they might be of value to someone else. For me, there's one or two items in this most recent software update that I like quite a bit. So let's go ahead and take a look at them. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on software. Here. Okay, so we just clicked on release notes here and you'll see here, this is software update 2022.4.5. Uh, the first one is regeneration braking in autopilot. And um, what they've done is kind of fine tune the regeneration braking. And when you're in stop and go traffic, it takes more advantage of that so that it can actually recharge part of your batteries. So they've made some optimizations and some fine tuning uh, related to that. This is always something that's a big welcome feature for me. If we can get more battery into the battery, uh, for longer trips and things like that, that's always a positive thing. So I like to see that as well. Um, also saying that this is gonna be less brake pedal noise and smoother stops while, the, uh, while you're in autopilot. And for those of you that use autopilot, you'll know what I mean, but it can be a little bit jerky or it can hit on the brakes a little too hard when you're in stop and go traffic. Uh, so this is gonna provide a gentler ride in that stop and go traffic and and by far my favorite way to use autopilot is in stop and go traffic when you're uh i have to go up 680 north uh in the bay area and that can be quite a headache on a thursday or friday afternoon so having that available is a really nice feature okay the next one is a is a pretty fun one this is called the car colorizer and this gives you the capability of changing the color of uh, the car, the Tesla car, not in reality, but how it appears in the main dashboard here and in the main um, app itself. Uh, it's pretty real time. I'll walk you guys through how that works uh, in just a minute here. And we're actually gonna dive into that one more specifically. All right, the next one is nearby superchargers. So what's really convenient about this is you can uh, filter all the superchargers that are around you and you can select them by um, how fast the superchargers are. So I think the third uh, three lightning bolts here kind of represents the third generation of superchargers, whereas the two lightning bolts are going to represent uh, just two uh, levels of supercharging or the second generation and then the first one. So this will allow you to look for superchargers that um, that are going to recharge your car at a faster uh, rate. So this is definitely a, uh, a welcome feature. The next one is the save dash cam clips. So what this will do now is save all your uh, dash uh, cam clips into uh, this one area here. And then you have the ability to now put this on the primary dock down below. I really need to do a video on um, sentry mode and dash clamp, uh, excuse me, dash cam clips for you guys. That is something I will put on my list. Maybe I can get to that next weekend. Uh, but this is going to be incredibly uh, helpful for any uh, any time that I want to look up uh, a particular uh, dash cam clip. I'll be able to do that. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at the car colorizer and see how that works. Again, this is kind of a fun feature available for, for us to take a look at. I think you guys will like this. Again, you know, not all the features have to be uh, totally useful for you, but if you like certain features, uh, then, then you can take advantage of them. So what we're gonna do is click on the toy box here and I'm gonna go directly to the toy box here. Here it is. So let's go ahead and click customize. And right away, you'll see here, um, 
my car is by default black, but you have the ability to select a color. So right away when I select that color red now, you can see my car actually shows up in red. Let me go ahead and select a blue color. There you go. So see how fast that is? That's pretty amazing that it'll actually function that fast. Um, so again, kind of the brighter red or pink, it's kind of wild to see how that works. But um, pretty amazing to have that capability there. And then look, I have my Tesla mobile app actually activated on my phone. And you can see that it actually updates there. It's updating there. So it makes it pretty fun. Let's go to this blue. Any any of these you could actually save. So I got the red one. I could go ahead and click this plus mark to save it as an option if I wanted to just go directly to it. You could also change the paint type, which is pretty amazing. So right now we're on solid. I can also change it to metallic. And let's go ahead and choose another color here and just see what that looks like um, in the metallic. And boy, that looks pretty interesting. Let's go, oh, and you can switch to matte. So I'm actually a fan of matte colors. So that's kind of nice to have that capability under matte. Um, and again, it changes on the mobile app too in real time. So that's pretty, pretty slick. Uh, even some wild colors like a green. Um, I actually like that color green down below there. You can see that. I'm gonna go ahead and save that green. Um, or you can just go back to your normal color. My color is just a solid black as you guys saw in, in the opening there and it's not matte it's just solid so not a lot of big difference between the solid and the matte colors but uh but pretty cool to play around with this particular feature so i like that one a lot let's also go look at um the supercharger so let's see if we can activate this yeah here you go so i clicked on nearby superchargers by clicking on this button right here and then above here, you can see all the superchargers that are close to me. And by default, it is selected the uh, the three lightning bolts, but let me go ahead and select just, okay, now I have the one and the three available. Let me unselect the three. So it will show you where those are at there and show you on the map right away in real time where those are at. Um, I think most of us are gonna be looking always for the three especially with the fast charging that we have available now in this car series. Um, if you're desperate for a supercharger, I'm sure you'll default to the two lightning bolts and then eventually the one uh, lightning bolt there. So overall, I like this set of features. Uh, really nice feature set for the latest uh, software update. Um, this is gonna be just a quick video for you guys. I wanted to show you a few of these fancy ones that are pretty exciting to see. But please let me know if you guys have any questions, comments, please like the video. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please note that I do a lot of videos like this and I walk you through detailed features. I would love to have you as a subscriber. Please subscribe to my channel. And I'm definitely open to any requests. Um, many of you may know that I always will fulfill requests as long as they're reasonable uh, in the videos. So more than happy to do that for you guys as well. So please let me know, more than happy. Thanks a lot, guys. Have a great weekend and uh, look forward to producing more videos for you guys. Take care.